Welcome to the part 8 of this video series. We will look at some more questions. Please do refer this playlist. The questions are still relevant. There are hundreds of questions here. Please subscribe to my channel. Focus on the concepts and successfully pass the exam. For previous questions, please refer parts 1 to 7 of this series. Let's look at question 38. You may pause this video and read it carefully. The question says you want to make a journey to cloud and what is the first thing you will do so this one is a no-brainer we will do a subscription first thing in the cloud world whenever you come to azure you need to take a subscription remaining three options we do it after we create a subscription let's look at 39 there are three questions let's tackle one by one all azure resources deployed to a resource group like this is a resource group and these are the resources so VM is a resource, blob is a resource and so on. And the question says this, this resource group can only hold these resources in the same region. That's not the case. You can have a VM in a London region. You can have blob in Ohio and so on. So the first answer is no. The second one says, if you apply tags to a resource group, that means to this blue box, if you apply a tag, then all the resources like this VM, blob, Cosmos DB will use the same tag. What is a tag? Think about it. So you use tags to organize them, the resources in a taxonomy. It's basically a name value pair. So consider it as a price tag. Uh, each object has price tags. It is similar to that. Now, if you apply a tag to the resource group, that is a blue box, the tags will not automatically come to the resources. The resources will have its own tag. Hence, this is no. The third one says if you assign permissions for a user to manage the resource group, this blue box, if a user, like suppose, Srinivas, if he can manage this blue box, then he can manage the white boxes also. Is it yes or no? Yes, he can. If he has access to this resource group, this blue box, then he has access to all of this and he can manage that as well. So this is the final answer. Let's look at 40. So the archive access tag, this is a question on that. If data is stored in there, what is true? The first one says easy copy. So if you have to move the data from or files from on-prem to cloud, then you can use easy copy. That's the primary purpose. Here, the easy copy will not work across the different layers like hot, cool, and archive. It will not work. See, Azure Backup is a backup solution. If you have a database and you want to back it up, then you can use it. See, it provides cost effective solutions to back up your data and recover it. You can back up all of these things like managed disk, VMs, and so on. It will not work here. The third one says must be restored before the data can be accessed. And the fourth one says must be rehydrated. Re uh, hydration is the answer. You see this documentation. Why? Because when it is an archive, it is considered offline. You have to first rehydrate and bring it online. Only then it can be accessed. So this is the answer. Let's look at 41. So you have an application that will run on Azure VM. You need to give a deployment solution to guarantee availability of 99.99% availability. And the question is asking the minimum number of VMs and AZs. So for both the answer would be 2 and 2. I'll explain why. For 99.99% availability, I need to put 2 AMs. If one goes, the other will be still there and my services can be running. And similarly, we need 2 AZs. This green box is an AZ. So that one AZ goes down, the other AZ will be up and running. So this is the answer. Let's look at 42. So here we need to collect events from multiple resources. The resources can be VMs, Blobs, Cosmos TV. So in order to do that, Event Hub is the service. So this is a service and it can process millions of events per second. And these are the scenarios like telemetry, which is IoT data, archiving the data, dashboarding, analytics, pipelines, and so on. This is the answer. See, Analysis Services provides enterprise-grade data models. It's a different thing. Azure Monitor is used to collect, analyze, and act on the telemetry from your cloud and on-premises environments. So this is primarily used for monitoring your resources. So this is used primarily for streaming data, real-time data from cloud to edge. Suppose if you have uh, 5G, suppose Walmart, and they want the processing at the edge, that is in Walmart premises itself, then this can be used to communicate between the cloud and edge. A very different service. So this is the answer. We'll lock this and move forward. Let's look at 43. So this is an interesting question, very simple one. An AZ has physically separate locations 
across continents and so on. It's within a single region. In a single region, suppose Mumbai is the region. In Mumbai, there will be different physically separate locations, which will be AZs. AZs are not across region. It cannot happen. One AZ will be in Mumbai. The other AZ will be in Singapore. Simple one. This is the answer. Let's look at 44. There are three questions. The first one says data that is stored in Azure account has three copies, which is correct because it stores multiple copies of a data. So if you see this, the data is replicated three times in the primary region itself. So the answer is yes. Let's look at the second one. So what it says is the data is automatically backed up to another data center, which is no. So if this is your data center in Bombay and there are two data centers in Bombay, suppose in Santa Cruz and this is in Navi Mumbai, the storage here will not be automatically backed up here. It will not happen. The answer is no. Let's look at the third one. So it is telling you the limit, the limit two terabytes and etc. This is wrong. The limit is up to two petabytes of data. Always remember cloud storage is for petabytes, not for gigabytes or terabytes. If you see here, it's a two, two petabytes default. And the new limit is five petabytes, 2.5% increase or 2.5 times increase. So this is the right answer. Please subscribe to my channel. Do visit this playlist on easy 900. These questions are still relevant. Along with that, do this series. It will ensure you pass successfully. Please focus on the concepts explained. You will get same or similar questions in the exam. Please subscribe to my channel. This brings us to the end of part eight. See you in the next part.